Okay, we got a little Hammer and Dolly action going on today. We got a Honda Accord with fender damage on the front, front bumper damage. Easy, easy, easy. Little fender bender, nothing major. What you want to do is get that Dolly right in the little spot when that is. Where it rolls at. Keep some pressure on it. Tap on the high spot and watch that little spot walk right out. Make sure you tap the edge of that fender, get the kink out, get the metal back in strength, flatten. A degree on the DA, uh, feather that paint out, get the paint off quick. I'm trying to keep the body work below the body line on the fender. Small, keep it simple, easy job. It's a pearl white, so you know you leave room to bleed. Eighty grit disc on the uh, die grinder. You know, give it some scratch, get the paint out of those low spots, a couple of low spots there. Give it some uh, tooth in the metal for the body build to stay to. Not much body filler needed in this small area. Keep it small, put tape on the edges. That way you can just pull the tape and the body filler stays exactly where you want it at. You get body filler in places you don't want it, you gotta sand it. That means you have to front it, that means you have to paint it. A degree on the sanding block. Keep it simple, small. Knock the body filler down fast. Make sure you feather those edges. Use your hands as your eyes, because your hands can see what your eyes can't. One eighty on the sander. Get rid of those eighty grit scratches. Feather out the edges. Hit all your edges. The biggest part: get out those eighty grit scratches. Getting it prepped up for a glazing prep. Now with the glazing putty, I like to start with a hundred grit sandpaper. Knock it down quick, get those high spots out of there from the from the body filler. Knock it down quick, and then I go back with the 180. One eighty grit, make sure you feather those edges. Get all your edges, make sure you ain't got too many, too much body filler on the corners or anything. Make sure you feather your edges, block it down smooth. You, some people use guide coat. I didn't use guide coat on this one because it's a small repair and it's a white car, so I know it probably has been off a little bit. You won't be able to see it that well. on the DA to get rid of those 80 grit scratches, prepping it up for prime. I used to do three coats of primer, but I got video of one coat before my camera died on me. Lock that primer with 400 grit. Some people use 320, but I use 400 and it works out great for me. And that should be all the body work needed for this. 